All right, I'm here with the uh, Discovery uh, Wonderwall projector and uh, the AXA P1 Junior projector. Both of these uh, projectors are $99, uh, so I thought it would be a fair uh, comparison to uh, do a little bit of a comparison test on these two. Um, the Wonderwall, as you can see, is pretty large. It's about the size of a traditional projector, whereas the P1 Junior is uh, the new Pico projectors. Uh, the P1 Junior is rated at 10 lumens. There's no rating for the uh, Discovery Wonderwall, but both are on right now, and as you can see, both of them, we can kind of make out the P1 Junior. The Wonderwall, you can definitely cannot see anything uh, with the lights on. Um, one thing to note also is that the Wonderwall has a fairly loud fan and does not uh, have an onboard media player, whereas the P1 Junior does. So, so far the P1 Junior is looking pretty good, whereas the uh, Wonderwall is not looking that great. Let's uh, go ahead and turn the lights off and see what we get. Alright, I have the uh, P1 Junior as well as the Wonderwall both on. You can make out the uh, Wonderwall's projecting image uh, a little bit to the right. It's pretty dim. Not sure if this thing even makes uh, 5 lumens. Um, I have connected it to my iPhone, which uh, I'm uh, attempting to project some my iPhone pictures. Um, as you can see, the resolution on the Wonderwall looks fairly low. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, that you can make out the grids in the Wonderwall and the color quality is, is actually not very good, unfortunately. Um, go ahead and, uh, and uh, play some more pictures. Um, you know, these are basically, you know, this is supposed to be a, uh, a dog that, uh, let's see, here's, here's another dog. Here's, here's how it's supposed to look on the iPhone. Um, you can see that, whereas the colors on the Wonderwall just uh, is not very impressive at all. Let's go ahead and switch these images over to the P1 Junior. All right, so I've hooked up the uh, P1 Junior, uh, the axe of P1 Junior to, the, um, to my iPhone. And now uh, I'm scrolling through the images. In this, in, in, the, in the contrast, if you notice, if you remember that the Wonderwall, when you know showing a picture of this dog, it was uh, it's completely washed out. You couldn't see anything. Whereas with the P1 Junior, you can actually see the dog. So my conclusion is that while neither projector is going to be the one that you want to use to do business presentations or watch movies for a long time, it's not a home theater projector. The uh, P1 Junior definitely is the superior product for $99.